5G radio technology innovations are transforming the 5G RAN transport architecture. The network that connects the radio unit and the distributed unit is called the front hall network. Open RAN defined Open 7.2x eSIPRI interface to allow network operators to choose the DU and the RU from different vendors and connect them over the Open front hall transport. 5G transport is the backbone of the 5G mobile network that connects radio access network with the 5G core. The transport network is often divided into front hall, mid hall, and back hall to fulfill use case and capacity demands. Hence, operators are building X hall transport networks to handle any G, 3G, 4G, and 5G traffic in a cost efficient way. The network operators need a solution to test the X hall transport characteristics and requirements for control, user, management, and synchronization planes independently without physically integrating actual RU and DU equipment on the network. Second, we need transport equipment, cell site routers, and aggregation routers to build an actual XHAL transport topology. Keysight has partnered with Cisco to showcase how SRV6 usage based XHAL transport architecture meets operators' requirements for ESIFRI front hull in convergence with non ESIFRI traffic. The test measures the important front hull characteristics like latency and jitter in the presence of realistic C plane and U plane traffic. Now, let us take a quick look at the setup that was built in the UNH IOL lab. Cisco NCS540FH and NCS55A1 routers are used to build the 5G X hall transport between RU and DU as part of the ring topology. The transport network is configured with SRV6 USID to carry L2 front hall traffic over SRV6 EVPN slice, while L3 management and additional background traffic in L3 VPN slice. For synchronization, NCS55A1 with integrated GNSS receiver is configured as TGM to distribute the clock to all connected nodes including RUs and DUs. The Keysight Novus hardware, along with IX network, is used to emulate the RUs and DUs in this ORAN front hall. The Novus ports are used to generate C, U, M, and S plane traffic between two RU interfaces and two DU interfaces. The Keysight metronome timing system provided the GNSS time reference to the Novus hardware. The Novus hardware emulated 1588 followers on the RU and DU interfaces and was used to measure the time error being propagated by the front hall transport network. During the ORAN Plugfest in June 2022, Keysight and Cisco demonstrated test cases defined by ORAN WG9. The test cases covered verification of various services and their requirements over SRV6 usage based X hall transport. The characteristics like latency, jitter, synchronization, and convergence are measured for each service slice, L2 or L3, over a multi hop rate topology based architecture. Front hall C plane traffic from RU to DU was carried over SRV6 usage based L2 transport over EVPN. The traffic was tagged with VLAN ID was popped by the ingress and egress routers. A non-latency sensitive radio management traffic or M-plane traffic was carried over SRV6 usage based L3 transport over L3 VPN. The Keysight Novus ports measured latency of 11 microseconds for the C-plane traffic over multi-hop front hall and average jitter of around 600 nanoseconds. The tool also measured latency of 28 microseconds for non-latency sensitive traffic like the M-plane traffic. The radio unit needs to receive ECP encapsulated C and U plane data within a predefined time interval, also known as the RX window. The RU will be dropping frames if the C and U plane messages incur variable latency in the transport network and arrives beyond the RX arrival window. That is why characterizing the transport jitter is extremely important. IX Network analyzed the eSIPRI traffic between RU and DU into several latency buckets. We observed RU to DU flows always falling into the low latency bucket of under 17 microseconds, which is needed to meet the RX arrival window of the RU. The time synchronization in this topology was provided by Cisco Aggregator Router to all nodes including RUs and DUs. The emulated RUs in the Novus ports ran as 1588 followers and measured the time error accumulated in the front hall. Keysight's clock quality analysis engine calculated the relative time error between two radio sites, i.e. two RU interfaces, to be less than 30 nanoseconds. The surface convergence with link failure scenarios was tested for SRV6 usage based ring access network. We measured surface convergence of 22 milliseconds in this case. 
Cisco's converged HDN transport architecture uses NCS 500 series, NCS 5500 or 5700 series platforms for 5G RAN XOR transport. Enabled with SRV6 microsuite technology, it deploys a fully programmable network. Oran Alliance Plugfest validates multi-vendor ecosystem that helps service providers to roll out cost-effective mass-scale networks. The goal of this testing was to validate 5G RAN traffic characteristics over SRV6 microsuite enabled multi-hop XOR transport. Throughout this demonstration, we highlighted how 5G XHAL transport needs to be validated against various services and traffic characteristics, and showed test methodologies used to validate 5G XHAL transport devices and networks for ORAN architecture. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in more information, please visit one of the websites below.